Hey, it's Mr. Chang, and we're going to go over the vocabulary for this week. Our first word is announced. Miss Parks announced the winner of the contest. Announced means that you're going to say what it is. So if you announce something, you're saying something. Our second word is candidates. Andrew is one of four candidates for class president. Candidates, some people say candidates, are people who are trying to get voted into a position like president or vice president or speaker or something like that. So a candidate is somebody who's trying to get voted into something. You get to choose from different candidates. Our next word is convince. <clears throat> Julia's mother tried to convince her to play soccer. So if you're trying to convince someone, you're trying to use words to make them change their mind. Okay, you're using words to make them change their mind. Decisions. Nick made two decisions about what to eat for breakfast. Okay, a decision is when you're trying to choose something, when you're trying to choose between something, you are making a decision. Okay, our next word is elect. The students voted to elect a new class president. Elect means to choose, okay, kind of like decision, but when you elect somebody, that's the person that you have chosen. Okay, so if you elect somebody, that means you have chosen them. That's the one. Our next word is estimate or estimate. And the word estimate means to guess. So it says here in the sentence, Sam tried to estimate or guess the number of coins he had. So if you're not sure the exact number, you can estimate or make a guess. Okay, the next word is government. Our government makes laws. A government is the group of people that are in charge of a country that make the country work. Um, without a government, the country wouldn't work. You need a government to help to control and and make the country run smoothly. And the final word is independent. It's good to be independent and do things on your own. And just like in the sentence, independent means that you can do things on your own. You don't need anyone else's help. So get to know all these vocabulary words on page 132 and 133 so that you can pass your vocabulary test on Friday.